So one of the most common question that people ask related to script runner is uh, how to automatically create issues. And uh, this is actually one of the question that was asked on the community today about uh, creating automatically issues or rather subtask based on uh, a custom field value. So this question, um, this question was asked by Sophia and Sophia is asking about is there a way to automatically create a subtask based on a multi-select list field. So let us say if the field uh, has uh, four values A, B, C, D and if the user selects A and B or A and C, maybe you want to create a subtask based on those selections and you want to maybe copy the uh, option here like A should be the summary of your issue or subtask. So it can be done and there are of course a uh, few ways of doing it. Two obvious ways of doing it is of course using um, a either script post function. So for the transition, uh, I mean, when you make a transition, you can uh, uh, then, uh, because I believe, uh, so in this particular question, uh, you are talking about if during a certain transition, uh, some of the items are selected in the custom field. So if you're talking about transition, then uh, take a look at script post function. And uh, because you are, you, you are working with multi-select list field, if you, if you fetch the value of a multi-select field, you will get a list. Uh, which is it, it could have like more than one item and then of course you can uh, do something like uh, for that list dot uh, each and for each and every value return it could be just one value or multiple values you may want to call a method that will create subtask and uh, and uh, that is of course one option using a script post function the other option is uh, to use a listener. You can also do the same thing using listener. You can listen for the transition events uh, or or basically whenever there is a transition, uh, script listener will do the same thing. If, if you're using script listener, then uh, you have the option to manage those lists, manage the script separately. Otherwise, you have to go inside the workflow. But I believe in the new version of uh, script, you, know, you can still directly jump to a specific uh, workflow. Uh, script related to workflow condition or uh, validator I believe uh, and I'll, I'll probably show you how it works but in both of in, in both cases uh, the script will be of course uh, more or less the same and you can also use uh, automation for Jira I am not really sure yeah I think I have talked about this so if, if you search on my website ravisaga.com slash uh, not yeah, you can go to ravisaga.com, but ravisaga.in slash search. Uh, and if you try to search for uh, maybe a script, I think I'm quite sure I talked about uh, the exact same thing. Um, if you type in subtask, I'm sure I might, uh, I'm sure I have something here. So, so you, you can find here one video that talks about uh, create a subtask, uh, which is of course for script now. And uh, and what what else? So I think this this should be uh, th th okay. So we we also have the possibility of using uh, automation. And if you're using automation, I am quite sure it can be done using automation. Uh, but I have I, I don't really remember if I did something recently. Let me just take a look at uh, my automation playlist and uh, let me just confirm but it is a possibility i mean uh, creating creating uh, issues automatically and subtask automatically is definitely uh, not difficult uh, so if you if, if i take a look at my own playlist and uh, let me just take a look at okay so create uh, so i have few videos so create issue from gitlab push and uh, create a project using rest api uh, okay so let me just log into one of my Jira instance and, and confirm very quickly. So we can definitely, so if you make a transition, then uh, what you need, what you need to do, you need to fetch the items from, uh, from a custom field. And for each and every item, you may want to, again, create a subtask. Let us see if we can easily do it. Of course, doing it using script is uh, very, very easy. And, uh, and whenever you are, you're, you're using I mean, if you're doing a comparison, whether you should be using script or not, or automation. In this case, definitely use uh, uh, definitely use uh, 
script or not. So, okay, so, so I, I made one video where I talked about how to, uh, no, let me just go back and show you. So, when there is a transition, let us say the issue is transitioned, and uh, in this case, let us say you start the progress from open, you may want to do something, and that doing something could be, um, let, let us say, okay, I'm just trying to figure out, okay, so not really a branch rule, so what we need to do now, we need to <coughs> create a subtask, and uh, we can create a subtask definitely uh, manually here, but uh, uh, we want to create subtask based on uh, based on the values selected in a in a multi-select field. So, how can we achieve this? Um, if we do maybe new action, and uh, if we try to fetch the items that are there in a in a multi select field so we can actually f we, can, we can definitely have the smart value that can uh, that can have multiple values and uh, for those individual smart values we have to now further create issues so definitely we need to use uh, um we need to use uh, the so, i mean th th there is an option here called uh, branch rule where you have to do something on a on a regular like for for multiple issues but uh, we want to run it uh, maybe two th two times or three times so i am not really sure if uh, we can do it within a one rule and 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 what I was thinking is maybe we can create uh, another rule and we can trigger that rule from this rule. So I'm not really sure. I'm not hundred percent. I, I think it might not be possible using a, a automation rule, but uh, definitely using script now you can um, because I have done that in the past. So I I, I can confirm it is possible. And by the way, uh, 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 you should always uh, look for scripts on Adaptivist Library uh, if you want to, of course. Uh, search for those code snippets and this is of course a great place for example if you type here uh, let us say create issue let us do a search so create subtask when issue is created i think this is a perfect example so i believe it is for oh it is for for cloud let us try if we can find something for server because this question was actually on server yeah it was on server let us go back so create a back okay create a subtask and link to parent issue yeah i think this this should work okay so create a subtask when a parent issue has a, has a specific label so i think this is a very good example it closely matches your requirement basically you're doing uh, it is of course based on uh, based on uh, a criteria so if you look at this code uh, you can figure out yourself if you know a bit of groovy so there is a method here called define create subtask and uh, I believe uh, for each and every, I mean, not exactly in this case, but uh, because right now I believe it is uh, checking for a specific uh, label, but you can always uh, fetch the custom field value of your multi-select field and call this method maybe two times or three times if you need to create subtask based on the selection. So yeah, this is a script that, sh that you should be using. And of course, if you already have script now, then go for it. That is. Uh, that is that will be my recommendation for doing this so that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much